What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel for another Trendy Butler unboxing. And this time I actually have two envelopes, um, one of which is the regular September package and the other is a replacement package for, um, if you remember last time, the two shirts I had gotten were the wrong size, they were larges, so they were too big for me, so they sent me out something else um, to replace those as well. So, I am really excited, so let's crack into these and see what we got. All right, so in this first one, right, I think this is the replacement one, because this has two shirts. All right, so we have two button-down shirts. One looks quite Hawaiian. I'm not sure how I feel about that one, um, but this one's cool. It's like a almost distressed looking kind of deep charcoal gray with this cool like white square pattern on it. And that looks really cool. So let's, let's take these out of here and see what they really look like. All right, so this is definitely a very Hawaiian looking shirt. Um, I'm not usually a big Hawaiian shirt guy, but I don't know. It might work. I mean, we'll see. Maybe it'll look good on me. I really don't know. Um, this brand is Rusty. Definitely another new brand that I'm seeing from Trendy Butler. I haven't gotten anything from them before. Uh, they're calling this Rock Piles short sleeve shirt. MSRP 76 bucks, so that's pretty nice. The, um, the cloth does feel nice. The stitch work feels good. Um, let's see, what kind of material is this, does it say? I'm not seeing anything on what kind of fabric this actually is, but the construction does feel really good. So, and it is the right size, it's a medium, so we'll try that on in a minute. Now, for the other one here, also short sleeve. I really like the look of this one. This is like right up my street, like, Dark colors with like a little bit of a pattern on there that pops out nice. So it's the same brand, Rusty. Um, they're just calling this one the Cap short sleeve shirt. Uh, and they're calling it black. So I guess it is kind of black, but I, I like the kind of, like I mentioned, almost distressed look to it. And this is also a size medium. So this should fit perfectly. Um, again, I like the feel of the cloth. It just feels like a, you know, pretty solid. It doesn't feel lightweight or anything. All right. So, um, I believe that was the replacement one. So let's open up the other one and see what we have in the regular September package. Okay. Looks like here we have a shirt and a pair of pants. Ooh, these look nice. Okay. And I can see right now this, this shirt is another one from Rusty and the pants are from Zane Robe, is it Zana Robe? I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but let's open this up, get a closer look. All right, so we've got another short sleeve floral shirt here. Um, I like this one. This is a cool, like it's kind of Hawaiian-y, but not really. I mean, it's mostly just the flower look. It's obviously, I mean, this is like, will definitely be eye-catching. It's gonna pop out there, but I like this. I don't really have anything quite like this in terms of just like a patterned shirt. Um, definitely pretty unique. I like the colors, like the kind of blackish, grayish with the pink flowers into that. Uh, this one is called Log Cabins short sleeve shirt, MSRP 55 bucks. Um, again, same as the other two, it's a size medium. It looks like it'll fit perfectly. The construction feels good. Now, let's take a look at these pants. These look legit. And they look slim as fuck, so that's exciting. So, let's see. Waist size is right, so Zane Robe. Snapshot Chino in navy. I am a big fan of chinos. Um, they've become kind of like my, my go-to style of pants for work because they're like dressy enough um but you know sometimes when i'm at work like i get busy and i gotta i'm like i do it stuff so sometimes i have to go in network closets or crawl up in a ceiling or under desks and stuff so i don't really want to wear like super nice clothes and get them dirty so chinos are like a perfect kind of medium between dressy and you know slightly more like work wear i guess you could say these look fucking awesome. The, um, the, the fabric feels really nice. It feels, 
um, very like, I want to say heavy duty, but that's not the right word. But they just, they feel like really good quality. Um, I like the flapless, like the besom pockets on the back. The navy color is really nice. And actually, I don't have a pair of navy chinos right now. I don't really know how or why I don't, but now I do. So that's really exciting. Um, yeah, nice metal button. I like these kind of buttons that aren't sewn on because um, oftentimes, again, when I'm at work, sometimes like the sewn on buttons, just when I'm moving around a lot, they, like the stitching gets loose since I have to fix them and stuff. I like these metal style buttons. That's, that baby's not going anywhere. And as I mentioned, the cut of these looks really nice and slim. So that's like right up my street. I think these are gonna look great. Um, really excited for that. So let's try everything on. All right, guys, so first up is the pair of chinos, and I really, really like these. The fit is great. The waist is a little bit big, which is odd because it is the right size, but it's no big deal. It's not anything out of the ordinary and nothing that a belt won't fix. But they do feel very comfortable. They're nice and slim all the way through, and they just look and feel great. Now, as far as the shirts go, they all do fit very well. They're nice and trim, but they're not too tight. and They're not too big, so they are a really nice fit. I do like the feel of them. They're lightweight, but I do have a bit of an issue with the buttons and the buttonholes. So we'll get into that a little bit more in just a second. All right, guys, so as I mentioned with the shirts, they all fit very nicely, um, but the problem that I mentioned with the buttons and the buttonholes. Now, I didn't have a problem with either of these two. Um, the buttonholes were, I did notice, they this on all three shirts, the buttonholes are a little bit janky, to be honest. Like, when you look at them, there's just all kinds of loose threads where they made the cut. And, you know, so like the, the stitching that they normally do on the edges of those to prevent the threads from being loose in there like that just wasn't great. Um, so as you're like unbuttoning, sometimes those little loose threads get caught on the button and then you can hear them like snapping when you're pulling the button out of the buttonhole. Didn't really have many issues with that uh, with these two shirts. However, with this one, which is the first one that I tried on for filming, as I was just literally unfolding it and unbuttoning it to put it on, the topmost button and the bottommost button just literally fell off. Um, so I was pretty disappointed with that. I mean, it's, I don't, I didn't have any other buttons come off, but you know, I don't know if that's just due to those buttonholes like that. If, you know, as you're pulling the button, like it gets stuck on a thread and then it just yanks the button right off or what. Um, so that's something like if I were buying this brand directly from them and spending, you know, $60 on a shirt, I, I'm not expecting buttons to be falling off as I'm just unpackaging it basically. But you know, like I said, that only happened with one of the three shirts. So that may have just been like a total fluky thing. Um, I otherwise really like all the shirts. I mean, I really like the patterns. I like the way that they fit. And I did find um, there are separate tags on the inside of each that tell you the materials and the uh, washing and drying instructions. And um, both this and this shirt are 100% cotton. And the more Hawaiian-y one is 55% linen and 45% cotton. And this one does feel very nice and light, so I could see this being a really nice summer shirt. Um, and I actually don't hate the pattern on me. I think it looks okay for, you know, like I mentioned, I'm not a big Hawaiian shirt guy, but I think it looked okay on me. So that's something that, you know, maybe next summer I might have to bust it out a little bit. But with all that being said, I absolutely love the chinos. They fit great. Um, actually, the waist is surprisingly a little bit big, even though it's like the right size that normally fits me perfectly. But that's just that just comes down to the cut. And, you know, every brand is a little bit different. And it's it's not so big that it's a problem. I mean, I always wear a belt to work anyway, so that's not going to be a big deal. But the legs fit great. They're nice and slim all the way through the leg. Um, and they just feel nice there. I think these were 95% cotton and 5% elastine. So they've got just that little bit of stretch. So they feel really comfortable. Um, so I am looking forward to wearing these to work. 
So that does it for this Trendy Butler unboxing. As always, I would like to just give a shout out to Trendy Butler for sending me these clothes. This is not sponsored, but they do send me clothes to review. So thank you guys very much for that. And uh, for you guys at home, if you're thinking about trying Trendy Butler, don't forget to use the coupon code that I've got for you in the description below to save yourself 10% off your first box. I've got lots more stuff coming up on the channel every week for you guys, so if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that upcoming content. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one.